Hello and welcome to day 15 of Lockdown Boot Camp. We're into week 3, hopefully the final week. I hope we're all still well and happy. So just moving on from what we spoke about yesterday, which was vitamins, we need to discuss minerals today, okay? Minerals are a huge class. Lots and lots and lots of them. So there are far too, far too many to kind of like... Uh, discuss individually so kind of like what is a mineral okay it's an essential nutrient it's required by the by us or our bodies to perform functions necessary for life simple as easy 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 as okay uh, one of their key functions is to maintain the balance of water in the body okay they are found in most real foods remember that real foods in processed foods or long shelf life foods or Kind of like the rubbish takeaways and stuff like that are very deficient in vitamins and minerals and nutrients of any description really in general okay uh some minerals we need more of they're known as majors and some we need less of and they're known as minors okay so examples of the majors would be calcium magnesium potassium okay uh, calcium everybody knows strong bones muscle contraction nerve impulse regular heartbeat required okay uh potassium um, may help to reduce blood pressure okay so, uh, may protect against stroke and kidneys uh, muscle contraction and heart problems okay magnesium also known as the master mineral okay it's key it's uh, it's required for more than 300 biologic biochemical reactions in the body uh, maintain normal nerve and muscle function okay heartbeat keep a steady heartbeat helps against blood glucose levels or just blood glucose levels sorry and aids in the production of energy fantastic okay then the minor minerals would include kind of like copper iron zinc copper helps to form several enzymes iron transporting oxygen in the body and zinc helps blood clotting okay so I'm not going to run through every single one of them because there's just too many of them and we can write and a paper I suppose and get get some information out out there if you want but um, let's just leave it at that and move on okay and say how important they are in our body in the functioning of a healthy healthy body okay uh, as you said yesterday or I don't know if you said yesterday um, you know vitamins and minerals are lost greatly in the heating okay vitamins in particular water soluble vitamins are destroyed by heat um, Fat soluble vitamins stand up better, but mm, you know the, the cooking process. And I think over the next day or two or three, what I'll do is I'll actually do a, to a little talk or a little snip, one of these, on cooking methods and how to take the best out of your foods in terms of the nutrient quality. Um, okay, but minerals just generally st has a tendency to stand up better than uh, vitamins in when it comes to cooking or the cooking process okay uh, obviously short cooking process steaming stir frying ideally raw fruit and raw root and vegetables would be absolute key okay um, you know just some the fat soluble vitamins actually vitamin A becomes slightly more bioavailable by gently cooking okay uh, the three main things that minerals do is they build strong bones and teeth they contain body fluids, uh, control, contain, control body fluids inside and outside cells, and they help to turn food into energy. Okay, um, just again, we're coming back to supplements, 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 and why I have a problem with them. Okay, they don't generally understand how everything interacts in the body and why one supplement or taking zinc or taking potassium or manganese or something like that is good for you because there's no knowledge of how the body works. Okay. Vitamin D, for example, allows the body to take calcium from food. Vitamin C helps absorb iron. Vitamin C can counter the ability to assimilate co um, copper if you have too much of it. Uh, overdosing on manganese can adversely affect iron deficiency. So you know all of these things and there's so many, so many that kind of go together, that work together, that promote each other and one takes away from the other. Over you kind of like, so having too much of one can result in the deficiency of others. Having a deficiency of one can result in the other one not functioning or another one not functioning properly. Um, okay, one of the major causes I think, um, and I suppose kind of like, this is subject. This is my belief, okay? Um, and as you've seen, I suppose, you know, recently we've all been glued to our television and our social media and everything about uh, what's going on with the coronavirus in the world. And one thing is that is for certain is that we've noticed that experts in the same fields can disagree greatly. So what I'm saying, or how kind of like I view nutrition or how I view how the body works to take out the optimum health, 
may be completely different from another person who's talking or teaching or trying to help people around nutrition. So what that means is, I think kind of like, it then comes back to one of the first things I said to you earlier, is you were responsible for yourself, okay? You have to listen to yourself. You have to believe in yourself, okay? You have to get back in touch with yourself, get back in touch with your intuition, get back in touch with kind of like who you are and believe what is going on in your body and what is right for you because healing starts with a thought process and if you believe that something is going to work for you then the placebo effect can't kick in and you can get so much more out of it sugar pills stuff like that okay so you have to go with who you believe and it's my belief that vitamins and minerals are key to good health it's my belief the cooking process destroys them it's my belief that you get them from Food. You take them from food sources and not supplements, okay? Um, one of the worst supplements out there, just, and I don't think you'll find too many people disagreeing on this, and if somebody does it, it's their right to, okay? Remember that. If somebody doesn't believe in this, it's uh, very much their right to. But one of the worst things out there is actually table salt. It really is. Stop using table salt immediately, other than cleaning up wine spills or something on the carpet. Uh, excess, the excess table salt binds to calcium which is then uh, excreted so we can lead excess table salt you know we, we know uh, everybody knows the problem with excess salt in, in in the system but one of the unknown ones is it can lead to calcium deficiency and weak, weak weak bones and whatever okay um you know excess phosphorus can hamper the ability to absorb magnesium so um i think over the next two or three or four days or so uh, you know we'll recap on nutrition what it is the macros the micros okay and the importance in the body we will look at uh cooking methods i think it possibly is a good one now as well to look at and we will look at um what well, is something that was known as food combining and that is being able to take the optimum amount of nutrition from food by eating it in the correct order or with the uh, correct other types of food so one does not negate the other but we'll discuss that more uh, over the next few days um again Vitamins and minerals are a huge topic, okay, an absolute huge topic. There's so many of them, but to get them into our system, okay, you know, it comes from real food, and real food is fruit and veg, nuts, seeds, organic meats, proteins when you can. Um, I think another one, uh, you know, at this stage we're looking at, we're going to go into much more than three weeks quarantine, so I'm going to have be running out of ideas to talk about, I guess. Um, but one thing I will talk about in the future is actually seafood or the sea itself. Um, if I forget, please remind me. So from day 15, the start of week three, we'll say au revoir, goodbye, hasta la vista, um, take care and stay safe and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, cheers, bye bye.